Davenport's oldest and most historic buildings are stuck in limbo. The chances are you've driven by the Hiller Building near Gaines and Third Streets. It's the oldest building in the city. It started as a single family home and eventually became apartments. It's now been vacant for years. Local Ford's Grace Runkle joins us in the studio with a battle over its future. Grace? Jim, the Hiller Building dates back to 1852, before the Civil War. It was one of the key buildings in Davenport's original downtown, but now it's fallen into disrepair. Some say the quick answer is to just tear it down, but one city leader says that doesn't really solve the problem. This is where the center of life was in that those early days of Davenport. German immigrants built Davenport's first downtown, but today, few of those buildings remain. The Hiller Building is almost 170 years old. It's seen better days. It is vacant. It is abandoned. It is derelict. But Third Ward Alderwoman Marion McGinnis says the Hiller should be saved. John Hiller was a stonemason who um, helped to build the very first bridge across the Mississippi. Hiller built the first part as a family home, but as Davenport grew by the thousands, he added apartments. The building almost evolved with the population. Now boards cover the windows and the inside sits empty. It needs some tender loving care and it needs some investment. McGinnis estimates it would cost about $600,000 to renovate. She spent years trying to find a team willing to take it on, but hasn't had any luck. People say, well, just take it down. Well, if this were taken down, they're very unlikely that anything would be built in its place. But there is hope. A lot of people thought that the people who bought the Standard Hotel were crazy and that it was just an eyesore. It was one of Davenport's first hotels, but by the 1990s, it was run down and covered in rusty fire escapes. After a $1.3 million reno, it's now the German American Heritage Center. It's sad to see a, a building get to disrepair. And with one wall nearing a desperate state of disrepair, McGinnis hopes to find the right developer before it's too late. When we lose things like this, we really lose the, our sense of place, we lose a sense of our past, we lose a sense of what makes Davenport unique. McGinnis says because the Hiller is listed on the National Register, it qualifies for the historic tax credit, and that would guarantee a developer 45% back on their investment. She says the city would be willing to work out a deal, too. In the studio, Grace Runkle, Local 4 News.